Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm in the woodlands and an area that I'm normally not going to be going to in the peak of summer, but it's a clear blue sky morning. So I decided to come and try something and it's a lot got to do with inspiration and who I'm inspired by. And a photographer who I follow for a number of years, I guess was a friend of mine at this point because I've had him on the podcast a number of times, Adam Gibbs, is kind of famous for his backlit images of some mossy ferns hanging from the trees in Vancouver Island in Canada. Uh, my woods that I normally go to when I'm walking with the kids um, has actually some trees that have some hanging mosses coming from the branches. And it's early morning now, um, and I'm here to be able to capture some direct light from the clear skies coming into the woodland and lighting up behind those mosses. What it also is doing as well is allowing me to get some nice dappled light on the forest floor. So I do think that today will be a journey of discovery. Maybe I'll find some nice trees, maybe I'll find some nice subjects, but I think I am going to find some nice light because there's gonna be nothing blocking the light now coming in all around me. So. The interesting thing for me is to be able to play around and see what I can get, see what uh, light I can find, and more importantly, see what type of shots I can get. So yeah, let's go. Let's see how we get on today on today's adventure. taking my first shot here now and it's an area right behind me where you can see it's been lit up nicely here and what I'm aiming to try and do is to utilize that light as it falls onto the forest or the woodland floor. So for my first photograph it's mainly more of the floor because what I'm standing on here is a really really mossy and soft ground but you've got these little bumps within the ground as well where the light is playing and dancing and bouncing off of that and then from the trees you've got these ferns that are dropping down so I'm positioning the camera that the fern is coming in between me and the light source and I'm also doing as well with the settings I'm at f16 because I can see the sun that's coming into a top of the canopy so I'm moving my camera to be able to get a bit of a sunburst or a sun star as well on the top of the image and then with the light streaming down as well onto the forest floor I think it will certainly be a, an interesting shoot I'm looking forward to seeing what I can find here because there's really going to be a lot for exploring even in such a small area because I can move around the subject in different areas and see the way that the light will fall in it but I'm looking forward now to seeing what I can get and seeing what this inspiration that I've gotten from Adam can uh, lead to in my own head and find some images as well in my own local woods. So yeah, I'll show you these two images now and then we'll go exploring and we'll see what else I can find. As always, woodland photography is tough and I'm actually finding it tough here now to be able to find the shot that I can think I can see with my eye. And what I've actually done is changed out lenses now. So I've put on my 70 to 200 and I'm going to try and compress the scene and kind of pick out what I see rather than the bigger picture because with the wide angle lens, there's quite a lot that's happening there. But I think here the idea will be to kind of pick out a couple of ferns that are hanging down or mosses that are hanging down with the light that's behind it and here's one example right behind me here where it's at the edge of a tree and on this tree you've got a couple of spider webs as well which I think if I can get the shot framed up nicely it will be a nice photograph because the light is streaming in like I would have said backlighting everything but also backlighting the spider web 
something different. Of course, it's in the woodland, you take everything that you can get. Um, but I think this shot might be a nice one if I can manage to get it. I'll give you a look at that next. And then I spot behind me here, I'm gonna kind of change a bit of a direction. I spot a few, um, I think they're called foxgloves. They're a purple flower. Um, so they're over here and I'm gonna see if I can get a photograph of them as well now in the morning light that we have here. But yeah, woodland photography is tough. I knew that already, but yeah, it's even tougher now so far this morning. looks like that the one thing that I needed, which is direct light, seems to be becoming hit and miss. It's coming back out now again, but I can see through the gaps in the trees here that there are clouds after arriving. So my whole idea here to be able to get the backlight has been more challenging than I thought, but nonetheless, I still do think I've got a couple of nice shots anyway from experimenting here with the camera. I've taken a couple of shots here. I think they're foxgloves. I should really check, but I think they're foxgloves. Anyway, I think the photographs of those, and I saw a couple of bees as well that we're feeding on them, so hopefully I managed to get a fast enough shutter speed to be able to capture those bees as well that are going in and out and getting the nectar in the early morning. What I'm going to do now next is the last part, I think, in relation to here. Uh, I'm going to go explore back up the way I came and see if I can find some other compositions as that light is kind of breaking out and lighting it up so I can get a backlit shot. But yeah, I'll show you the photographs anyway next here of these uh, flowers. And then, yeah, we'll continue on to our final spot on this morning's shoot. Yeah, my uh, light does seem to be going more so than coming. But as I was coming back out here, I spotted there's a branch. You can't really see it right now because it's kind of blending into the background. But I had some nice light that was shining right on that and making it pop with, again, backlight lighting up the leaves from it. 
but I put on, I've kept on my long lens there since I've changed it out, I haven't gone back into the wide angle lens, it's allowed me to pick out a couple of nice shots anyway I think, but kind of wondering have I gotten any shots from uh, this morning, but I'm sure I would have gotten one or two shots in it, again they may not be bangers, but they'll still be shots, so you can see here look the light is coming out now and it's just lighting up this bow of the branches here, and what I'm doing is I'm taking the shot at f4, so I get focus on that and then I get bokeh in the background, and I'm actually kind of more or less underexposing the image as well because I don't want it to be too bright I want the focus point to be on the light with on those leaves but everything else then as well just kind of a bit darker and fading off into the background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog I do hope you've enjoyed coming along this short journey with me if it's your first time on the channel please consider subscribing give me a like give me a comment and until the next time Slango Fall